You hate ads? I hate ads. You know what I like? Patreon.com slash Inkdependence keeps this blog ad-free. <laughs> Hello folks, welcome to Ink Dependence. I'm Mike, and today we have a box here. Uh, this is from my friend Anna Reiner over at the Well-Appointed Desk. She had a little, uh, hey, surprise paper sale thing go on on her site. And so I decided that I needed some paper and maybe a stamp or something. So let's see what I got. Oh, I'll show you what I got. I kind of know what I got because, you know, I, I bought it. It's all stuff I paid for. I like to help Anna with her cool shop stuff. There we go. Let's get in here. I like the way that she uh, she does stuff here. I think it's fun. Look at all this nice wrapping. What's this? A little mini scratch pad thing. She's making these out of the, uh, the vintage uh, typewriter paper stuff. I like that. That's fun. Couple little stickers and things like things she, she throws in. I tend to throw these in with my orders too. Like I, I get a bunch of stuff from places I order from. This fun little uh, coloring dipper with a little nib on it. That's a fun way to use those. I should start doing that. Anyway, fun stuff. If you order from my store, you might find those in your order. You never know. Okay, let's get in here first. This is a thing I ordered because, uh, darn it, I really like stamps. <laughs> uh, I resisted stamps for a long time. I think this is pretty, pretty good. Also, look at this fun green. I like it. All right. Here we go. A little wood cuts or a wood stamp here. Keep the post office public. I think this is worth having. I'll put on this on the outside of my boxes and envelopes and stuff that I send out. That's how I usually like to use these things. Get this out of here. Come on now. There we go. Uh, you can see she stamped all over this thing. Look at all these stamps. So many stamp. Fun stuff. Huh. I wonder if she puts them all like a whole bunch of boxes next to each other and go stamp, 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 stamp on a bunch of them. I don't know. Uh, all right, so here is the uh, keep the post office public stamp. Has a little post office uh, eagle there. You can see the uh, here we go. Let's see. There we go. A little bit of junk off there. There's a nice imprint. Let's go ahead and stamp something. These are uh, this was uh, eleven bucks. This little rubber, little rubber stamp. I grab a stamp pad out of my box of stamp things. Uh, let's get, let's do orange. That is on brand for me. It's kind of an old stamp pad. I hope it still has ink in it. Yeah, it does. All right. Bam. Keep the post office public. <laughs> it's good for one, maybe two of stampings. Pretty, pretty nice. I like how crisp these wood stamps, these, um, these, uh, these stamps are. These woodblock stamps. Oh, nice and crisp that imprint is. I like it. Cool. I guess just a regular print and not an imprint. Whatever, man. Uh, what else do I have in here for stamps? Since we're looking at them. I have this, uh, this fun carrier pigeon, which has a messenger bag. Um, <laughs> I, have, I have this one that just says, okay, mail. <laughs> I've got a couple of, uh, ink bottles. Like these, I've got a sample vial. Do I have any of the nibs? I don't think I have any of the nibs. Maybe that's why I haven't done that. Audrey has one. I have this fun owl. This is not from Well Appointed Desk, but I still like it. This one says good mail. Then we have happy mail. So okay, good, and happy mail, depending on what I'm sending, I guess. Uh, and then I have one that says handmade by that I use for, for some of my handmade stuff. Fun, fun, fun. Okay, I put all this back in here. This was maybe a bad idea because now I have to put everything back. All right, the other two things I got were paper, because that was what was really in the sale. There we go. And there are two more of these vintage writing pads. Um, I got some, I got a couple from the original time these went on sale. Uh, and then I got, uh, let's see, does this one say, yeah, this is B grade, so it's a little bit different size, I guess. Yeah, it's just a little bit, uh, a little bit narrower than the original. Just a tiny bit, look at that. Just a little bit, there's a little strip on the edge, and it's like a buck cheaper, so, you know, that's cool. That goes for, uh, that was seven bucks for the, uh, for the smaller uh, vintage writing paper. Vintage typewriter stock from Esselik. Esselik Clear Erase. Uh, I really like this paper. It's worth opening up and showing you. Uh, I've been using it for correspondence. I'm using it to send in, um, uh, some of the, the, the orders I get on my site, inky-d.com. Inky and it has this nice red rule at the top and the bottom. 
This is a little bit of an odd size, I guess, because it's a little bit uh, a little skinny, but whatever. I don't care. Also comes with these nice guide sheets. I love a good guide sheet. We've got dots. We've got graph. We've got two different types of line. We've got eight and seven millimeter rules. If that's what you're into, you just slide that behind one of these. And ta-da! Now you can write in, uh, write in sort of a, uh, a nice fashion without getting your words looking all weird, like they are wandering all over the page which is what usually happens to me. And this one is a new kind of paper. Uh, this is from uh, from the sample room, Westport Bond. I haven't used this before, obviously. Uh, I'm curious about how it's gonna work. Get in there, all right. All right, so, they use the same covers, looks like. They use the, basically the same covers as they did for the other one. Let's just see what this feels like. Oh, this is a very interesting paper. It feels uh, it's heavier and a bit stiffer than the Esalik stuff. Doesn't seem to have the uh, the watermarking on it like this one does, which is all right. You can see watermarking is this um, is this text that's like printed, pressed into the paper. It's like in the fibers. Pretty cool. Uh, nice. All right, let's see how this uh, how this works. I don't think there's any more of this left, but you know, people might be curious about how it writes, and I know I am. All right, so here we have a uh, Shown Design Ultim Pen. This has uh, got a medium nib on it. And the ink is Private Reserve. Uh, American Blue. How'd that work out? Perfectly. Worked really nicely. No, uh, no bleed through or anything like that. Let's see how it looks here. Looks great. No uh, no feathering or any of that sort of thing. This looks a little bit rough right here, I suppose, but I think that's just, um, this paper has a little bit of a texture to it. I don't know if you can really see the texture on the camera. It's got a little bit of a texture to it, and I was really going fast with that, and I think it stuttered my nib just a little bit. It doesn't feel bad to write on, though. I think it feels kind of nice. Let's uh, use this one. This is, uh, this is a Y Studio desk pen in, uh, uh, a brass, is it? the brass uh, with a uh, oh no this is copper this is copper what am I doing uh, this is private reserve again Daphne blue looks nice I like that I don't think it had any problems there yeah nope just looks good uh, what else do we have on the desk here what can we bring out here we go this is a <laughs> this is a whole different beast this is a pelican M1000 with, uh, we have here medium nib and I want to say this is, I think I put in here, Diamine Skull and Roses, I want to say. There we go. We'll give that a minute to dry, see how it um, how it does sheen. Looks like we're getting some sheen there already, actually. Skull and Roses is one of the best sheening inks I've ever used. It uh, sheens ferociously and also does not have any problem with, um, I don't know, any smearing. I haven't had it stop up in the pen, nothing like that. And let's try another one here. This is um, Lennon Toolbar Atmospheric Twilight. You can kind of hear that this has a bit of tooth to it. Uh, and also, you can see the twilight just uh, mm -hmm. like turning gray. It goes down pretty dark and then it turns gray afterwards. This is a pigmented ink. This is my favorite gray. I did a review on it. If you haven't seen that, go watch that because it's a good video, good video. Yeah, of course, no problems here. Um, so yeah, very nice. I like that. Let's try some, uh, some gel ink. This is a uh, Pilot Juice refill and tactile turn side click. <laughs> Safety first. Love that thing. Uh, how'd it go? It felt uh, it felt okay. This is a fairly uh, narrow nib. I forget what size or point, I guess, I put on here. This is a uh, 0.5, I think. And did feel a little bit of the tooth there. A little bit of resistance. No real problem, though. I'm not mad about it. And then, uh, I don't know, lastly, let's, uh, almost lastly, let's do a little ballpoint, too, because why not? Uh, I've got this Palomino Blackwing 42, which I believe has the extra firm core.
in there. Oh, well, maybe not. This might be a softer core because it was really going through it. But uh, there, I think you can see there a bit more of that texture that you had with this paper. You can see the pencil really brings it out. It feels really nice to write on with a pencil though. And the line came out pretty darn dark and easy to look at. Uh, yeah, pretty good. Okay, lastly, uh, this is a uh, uh, Karanda Osh 849 with the Goliath refill. Did I put it in the wrong place? I did. It goes here. Yeah, it feels great with uh, ball points. No problem at all. So, yeah, this pen, this has felt really nice. Uh, do I have anything that's uh, like a fine nib inked up? Let me see. This is probably the finest nib I have inked up. Uh, this, <laughs> this weird thing is, uh, what is this even called? Uh, oh, yeah, this is the paper skater. I forgot about this one. This is the paper skater. Uh, and <laughs> this is a, um, this is like a, basically a disposable fountain pen body inside this, uh, this tube. This is an Atoya blade and this has a pretty darn fine nib on it. This is real, this is real small. Come on. There we go. There. Uh, paper skater, Atoya blade. And actually I thought the fine nib was going to feel bad on this paper. Uh, I was going to catch or something, but no, I didn't find that at all. It feels good. And then here's a super broad. This is a Pelican, Pelican, Platinum, three seven seven six music with uh, colorverse, stars, and stripes. All right, I think a little bit of um, like you see the texture made it uh, get a little bit not skippy, but you know I like missed a couple of bits of uh, paper there, but. Uh, I think this is going to be a cool paper. It doesn't feel like any other normal papers. It feels more linen-y, although I have no idea what the content of this paper is. But yeah, so that's the, uh, that's the Westport Bond. I think it feels nice, and I dig it. All right, so thanks very much, Anna, for sending these out so quickly. I think this went up like... I feel like it was like Sunday or something like that. I don't know. It was uh, during the weekend. And I was like, oh, got to get on there. So I did. Uh, so keep the po post office public. Use fun paper. Put your fun nibs on those fun papers. And uh, I'll see you in another video. Peace out.